Body mass readout is an acceptable range. The skin fold degradation is minimal. Specimen vitals are stable and holding. Looks like we've done it. Great job, everyone. Let's set up three more trials for replication. Uh, sorry to crash your party. The Defense Department has arrived early to discuss Project Orc. The Director needs you to be present at the meeting. <sighs> Not sure what's worse. Our Director or a three-hour meeting with the military. experimenting on me and they're working on something called project orc cool name oh man good morning everyone welcome back to trap dog gaming here on youtube this is the game grounded and we are now in episode 61 wow he had a dream so there you go he was experimented on interesting all right well you know the role, we have to go down, get something to eat and something to drink, because we're actually very hungry, ready for brekkie, grab some food, eat some food, uh, which one, doesn't matter I suppose. Mm. Damn, give me a plate of this. Actually I might eat one of these guys. There you go, chockers with food. And some water. Let's have a look. Full as anything. Alrighty. Oh, well, that's a bit more insight into what happened to Max, I get. He, guess he was, um, yeah, experimented on. Well, people, today's episode, we're going to start building again. Uh, my plan um, is to go higher. Higher and higher. Um... You know, I was just thinking, what I might do... Uh, hang on a sec. I can carry more than that, can't I? Hang on. I went out... ...off camera, and... ...I picked up a few of these. Hang on, I think there's more up here. Let's see if we can fill ourselves with them stems. That'll give us some stems to work with. Got a whole stem palette full there as well so the plan the plan for today is to try to get up or at least I don't know whether we're going to complete it or not but I think we could get close uh, trying to get on top of this ledge this stone wall in front of us so we've already got one position way over there near the pond um, it's it's the base that we've already started so that's a good thing um, but up this end uh, near closer to the hedge so down here and chuck a right we need to find out exactly where or what is exactly above here so we've got a fair bit of infrastructure here a fair bit of um, what? is that a pigeon? there was a pigeon on the bird bath when did that get put in the game? Am I going nuts here? It was certainly not a crow. Does that mean you can get pigeon feathers now? I don't know. Interesting. Alright, so about here somewhere. Where the aphid is. So this is where I was thinking, maybe this is not a bad location to go up. But how exactly do we go up? So the hedge base is over that way along these kind of um, stones what we want to do is to make a ramp that takes us up to the top so how about we put our grass over here so maybe it should just be a ramp that goes up that way and if it ends up a bit if it ends up high enough to get on there a bit early then we just put a little bridge across I suppose so let's have a look if we craft um, maybe we should start with a grass platform. So it's almost like the start of a base. And if we did that, it would be better if it was a bit higher rather than lower. Uh, that'll probably work. Maybe we should come out a little bit further. Uh, 
Yeah, no, maybe like that. So if we put, uh, hang on, this could be a lot easier. I definitely need to go and get more grass, but if we just did that, um, then we go all the way to the bottom, because we really just need kind of staircase, really, that way. Yeah, maybe we should start back this way, so there. Uh, then we kind of have to go, I think, flat, so it's almost like we have to alternate between the flat part and a staircase. Which is why I keep saying it'd be better if they were both together. Not there you go, at each end's sort of thing. Okay. And then I think we're out of grass already. We definitely need to go and get some more grass. Okay. After this one. Okay. So let's just say we need another set of grass stairs. There. Okay, so that's the start of our little climb to the to the top. Now uh, let's just drop our extra stems there. We need to get more grass. Where are we gonna go to get grass? I wonder oh. Probably don't even need the pallet really. That's dry grass trip, by the way. Can't tell the difference between brown and green. Okay, grass, 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 grass. Haven't really been right into that area there very much. I know there's spiders there, I have seen them before, but they're past the little pond area. So being as far out as we are, we're pretty safe. Alrighty. Let's see. Yeah, kind of getting there, I suppose. Alright, so we need another grass platform. Then we need another set of stairs. Like that. Yeah, see, that's getting pretty close. I don't know how often we're going to come up and down here, but... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then grab one stem. Up we go. And then, let's grab another floor. Need a bit more grass and another stem. And another stem. Actually, the stems go a fair way when you think about it. You need one per staircase. Okay, so here we go. I'm getting there. We're almost there. That didn't take as long as I thought. Okay, so... Maybe one more in this direction. And then I think we're getting so close to just turning the corner to the right here. So there... I think we're... Yeah, we're very close. Hopefully there's nothing bad up the top that's going to jump out at me, but... You won't know until you try. Four, five, six, seven, and another stem. Yeah, it hasn't taken that long, really, eh? It's pretty quick. Alright, so these two. Hmm, I'm wondering. Maybe, yeah, okay, I think maybe just go up one more. Push it out, like that. Put our final platform on. I'm not sure if this is safe up here or not. I have no idea. So another grass floor. Whoops. Just need a bit. And... If we get up there... Do we need another... Not sure if we need another. I think we just need some more grass. 
I don't think we need to go up another staircase. That to me looks pretty close. It's hard to tell from down here. Alright, just as well there's so much grass nearby. Makes it easy. Uh, hang on a second, might grab... I us say, cut down a few more. We'll keep going. There you go. So we're full again. Maybe just, yeah, maybe just try the flat platforms going now to the right. Go finish off that one first. Uh, then we stand up here and hopefully don't get attacked by anything. So another platform. Which way did we go? We were going that way. So another three, I think. <coughs> Let's just make it seven so there's definitely enough. Whoop. Two. How many did we throw over here? Three. Four. Five. So we'll just throw these on here for the time being. Let's grab another. We might as well just, uh, I don't know whether we should just make a little base up there. It's kind of not bad having some of the outposts around. Store some extra food and water and whatnot. Because this time around maybe it's better for us to, um, just take the pellet up. Then we'll have the pellet of grass up there ready to to use to make something else, I suppose. How full are we going to get here? Are we? No, we're not full. It's kind of a bit close though, isn't it? There you go, it's full already. Okay, so, three, four, five, six, was there any more? There's actually a, a dandelion just here, you could get stem from that. Alright, that's heaps. Uh, maybe we can just fit all this in. There you go. Up we go. So we should be able to finish this little bridge to the right. Are we right on the edge? I think we are. There you go, we're up here. Oh, did I not bring up the pellet? Man! Wow, I've never been up this high before. See, there's another place we have to go. We have to go over to the shed. We have to go over to that little... Oh, man. There's heaps of places we should be at. Alright, now that we're up here, let's save. Because I don't know... What is that? What was chasing the Ava just then? That looked uh, a bit different, I thought. Can I climb up here alright? That wasn't something different, was it? Wow, well, you can eventually just go all the way around here. Up onto there as well. I know I've seen mosquitoes next to that big green purple looking face. I think you can kind of see them from a distance there floating around. Little mosquitoes. What is what is that? That is uh, super weird looking. Yeah, I was just curious what that other thing was, like a brown looking thing. Come down to here. Can I just jump across? I can. Threat detected. So what 
Is that a brown mite or something? You kind of look like a little mite. I have a feeling he's under me at the moment. Like under the rock. Hmm. I didn't realise my water was down halfway already. He's not a threat at the moment. I think it was a luck a little brown mite. Yeah, there, there. I see you. Oh, it's a tick. Oh, he's a tough little son of a gun. Look at him. Oh, he does jump. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think it's gonna. He's gonna get a. He's gonna get a run up. <laughs> well, this is the place to get you guys, isn't it? Hey. Eh? Without doing any damage to me. Ha ha ha. There you go. I gather I can get up and down from over there anyway. All right. So what do we get? A tick fang. A tick fang. Well, that's a bit different. Wondering what else we can find over here. Hope it's nothing bad. Although it is grounded. <laughs> Everything in grounded is bad, really, isn't it? Or well, potentially can be. Does this purple plant do anything? What is that? That almost looks like a philodendron or some, some sort of plant like that. Maybe it was based on it? I don't know. Oh, there's another tick. This guy feels as though he's going to be able to jump I'm up bueno, here. And that tick is the no bueno. And don't you forget it. Oh, hang on, is he staying away from me? Can you come up? You can come up. <laughs> Jeez! Back off! Holy crap, he is really tough. Holy doolies. You still coming? You still coming? <laughs> Hang on, just give me a chance to get my health back up, dude. Yeah, let's go for a bandage. Go for a bit of this as well. Can I hit him from a long distance? Is he... That might be a spider over there, but... Oh wow, they really hurt! Good grief! He bit me once and it was like... Man! Oh man, okay, so the, <laughs> the ticks are more of a long distance thing, right? Sheesh! Do I need a couple more of these? Man! I wonder if that little bit of extra food might help. Chow down. A tick fang. Gotta go research that. Hey, if I research that, that'll get me over the next level, won't it? What is... What Let's is... see what's around here. That's not a little snake or something round up in a little circle or something, is it? Hmm... Man, how many of these bandages do I need? Wow. Is Mr. Tick still over here? That's got to be an orb spider making that. Unless there's a ladybug down there. It's in this corner here somewhere. Hard to see. He's up against the edge of the pebble. Where's this blinking tick? Little smarty pants. Yeah, he's a tough one, eh? Okay, so y the idea then is to stay a distance away and... I mean, I could have been blocking better, I must admit. Let me just have a look at something here. Threat detected, so there must be another, um... Can't 
jump too many times in front of me, you're gonna do you're gonna die, die dude. Wow, okay. So where was the green one I was looking at before? Was it down here? Down there. So if I do that Is it like poo or something? I don't know. Whoop, whoop. Oh, there's a few of them around. Oh, jeez, I hope he doesn't, can't jump up. Oh, he can too. Look out. Coming through. Am I too high and he can't get me now? I don't know. Oh, man. I can hear a few of them. Is he stuck? Try to jump, I think. Just watch it, Trev. If he jumps, he's trying to line himself up for another jump, I think. I suppose in real life, the ticks are a bit like that, eh? Tough little, little critters. over here and get some water and maybe sleep for the night. That's interesting. Oh, there's a lot more to look at out up here. Although I do need to get this stuff analysed. Hmm. Oh, well, my um, dinner's coming towards me. <laughs> How about we just go to the main base and then I go and research this thing. Go back and get some water. That's interesting. Okay, so that's the first time I've come across ticks then. Something new. Holy dearly, what sort of army have you got to have if you're attacking the ticks then? Good grief. Hmm... Maybe it's time I invested uh, into the Koi armor or Ladybug armor or something. I don't know how much it would really help you, but... Wow, you only took one bite from that tick. Or are the ticks a bit different? Tough little dude, eh? I mean, the number of arrows I had to use... yeah. Kind of not unlike an old Weaver Junior, at least. <laughs> Tough little guys. Must be an aphid up the grass there or something, and the mites are going nuts. Ah, oh, it's a stink bug. Oh man, I can't stand the stink bugs. Quite annoying. Very annoying. Alright, so we still have to research. What else did I bring back? Oh, a little bit of grass. So, we'll throw this away. <laughs> kind of interesting. Oh no, did I pick it all up again? What am I doing to pick it all up? Ah oh, man, so annoying when I do that. Could just say, Trev, that you're reorganizing things, but it's a bit far-fetched. Um... Just, just hit escape. I think, I think I'm just picking it up somehow. With like tab or something. Escape. <laughs> All right. Well, not far off going to Betty buys. I guess we could always cook up what we've got for tomorrow. That and that. What is the time? 17:55. So we're just about ready. Hey, hey, hey! Look at this. Some more. Whoops, some more berry leather. There's another nine. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I just heard the grandfather clock go off. How's that? Almost got 50 leather now. That is brilliant. Alright, let's go sleepies and then tomorrow morning we're going to go over and analyse this thing. 
Sleepy, see you in the morning. Food go off. Wow. Rub time. Just in time. Just realised I got sprigs in my inventory. Let's put those away. I have to grab our remaining food for the day. Sprigs, sprigs, and sprigs. Where are the sprigs? Around here somewhere. Yeah. There they are. So we can put those away. We have to analyse the little tick fangs. I've got two of them. Got food. Let's go grab a little bit of water and we'll head over and analyze. We were right on the limit, remember? Last time I had a look we were like, I don't know, five away, so oops. So that should be all good. Save the game. Stink bug's probably still in over there somewhere. It's so annoying. See if we can get into... Should really go and get some more acorn shells. They're always there though, I suppose. And I have got, I've probably got a fair few. Can't remember exactly, but yeah. Okay. The coast looks quiet. Not sure if it really is, but it looks quiet. Don't see any orb weaver spiders here at the moment. Alright, through I go. Let's go down and analyse, see what else it gives us when we go up a level. Could be interesting. What do we got? So we'll do one of these. It's gotta be good, gotta be good. Science. Well, that top one's interesting. Is that some sort of weapon, is it? Went up to a level up. Oh, a black ant sword, black ant shield, and black ant shovel. Wow, okay. So hang on a second. If we're talking about... What the heck? A pine cone piece. Lint, lint rope. What? Well, you got to knock off a few t ticks then. Ten. Ten. Wow. But hang on a second. This is my first level three. How's that, people? That's a level three weapon. Oh my goodness, the speed is amazing. Damage, yeah. Damage is up a bit. Wow. Okay, and a black ant sword. That's still level 2. So look at the difference. The speed is probably similar to this tick weapon, but the damage is higher. Wow. If you could keep getting the ticks like that, the fangs wouldn't be too hard to get a hold of, but... The pinecone piece? Wait, what? Where is this thing? Pinecone. Um, I don't know. Is it up on the top there somewhere? I don't know. I've never seen a pinecone thing before. Okay. Alright, anything else? There's the black ant shovel. Is that a better quality shovel, I suppose? Got to get the black ants yet. Where are they? I haven't seen them yet. Black ant shield... I'm fine for things like berry leather, but then red ant part, black ant part, okay. Haven't made much much use of the shields yet either, hey. Mushroom slurry. I can make mushroom bricks. Might end up having to use that, I suppose, down the track a bit. A pollen turret. Ooh, that sounds interesting. So what would that be? The hardest thing to get there is the silk rope. Oh, okay. But what 
it's a is it saying that it's a manual okay it's a manual thing hmm gotta look into that should put that on one of the bases around the place oh the zip line zip line anchor and a zip line wall anchor clay bee stinger that's not too bad that's pretty straightforward a zip line anchor zip line wall anchor So do you need one of each, or can you just go from this as uh, an anchor to an anchor? I think you could just go from an anchor to an anchor, couldn't you? Because it says a post where the start or end of a zipline can be tied off, so... Yeah, okay. Oh man, I've got to look into that. Look at these ziplines, it'll be a quicker way of getting around the place. What else did I find here? Ant head totem. Right, not a biggie. Tick wall mount, okay. A stuffed tick. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to be harvesting a fair few of these guys, aren't I? What else did I find? A uh, koi fish scale. Known about that for a while. Mushroom chunk, dust mite, tick fang, a mussel sprout. Oh, that's what I. Okay, I got a heap of them. Tadpole jerky, rotten stinger spear, ant club, slime, toxicology badge. What? Alright, so everything's been kind of looked at at least. Well, that's really interesting. Holy dooly. So that's my first level 3, tier 3 weapon that I can possibly make. It's going to take more visits to the tick area though. Man. Alright, let me save this before I run the gauntlet, which is probably a lot safer now that I've got this door up here. Anywho. Oh, the ants are chasing him. <laughs> See you, dude. Have fun and stuff. Well, they can get through. Just the spiders can't. Yeah, they're in there. He's in there. At least they can't, um, they can't come in and out, so they can't kind of... It's the orb weaver that was the pain in the butt initially. What's he doing? They can't... <laughs> He's kind of half stuck in the ground. I think the ants can't get him. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. See, I'm wondering whether... Maybe the little turret that we just looked at... This wall spider just there. Um, maybe I should put turrets on the top of this thing. This would be maybe an okay location. We'll put another big platform on top and have a few turrets up here. Then I could shoot down some of the bees. And see over there, there's another location. You know I don't know, that's a long way up, hey. That, I don't know how many stories I'd have to get to. 12? 10 or 12? It's like two stories is only one brick, and what is it? One, two, three, four, five bricks. Probably ten to the bottom of those larger stones on top. Yeah, probably a good dozen. Well, but that's one way to get up closer to the the shed location. And then we've kind of mm, have that bridge running along. Yeah, there's a fair few places. I gather this is the mosquito haven so where's the pine cones then? They must be sitting somewhere, you'd think they'd be um possibly under a a big tree like the oak tree or something but hmm unless they're in another area of the map here I haven't seen yet, it's quite possible oh well there's another chunk done I suppose yeah so hadn't Hadn't seen or dealt with ticks before until now, so that's pretty cool. Two wolf spiders can stay over there. Quite happy them for them to do that. Alright, well we've got a little bit further, so got that other ledge over there now to explore. There's a there's a fair bit there actually to, to go and have a look at, including 
um, farming a few more resources from the ticks, I think that would be a good idea. Absolutely. Alrighty. Alright, people, I'm going to have to leave the episode here, but, um, yeah. We've expanded our horizons a little bit more and got on top of that platform, and we need, probably next episode, just need to hunt around up there a little bit more. See what else we can find up on top of that next ledge. Alright everyone, I really hope that you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, no, you can support the channel by um, smashing the like button for us. And if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.